Tesla has just revealed the price of their Optimus robot, 20,000 US dollars. Is it worth it? And, and can you, will you even be able to buy one? Well, here's what I think. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans and Xping and Tesla are in a race to deliver a million robots. Both of them want to do it. Both of them have set the target of selling a million robots. So, I mean, is Tesla really going to sell a million of these next year for 20,000 US dollars each? I would say that's probably not likely. But if they did, that would be $20 billion in revenue. That's, um, that's a lot of money. For the past few years, Optimus has been presented as Tesla's long-term R&D ambition. And the truth is that Tesla, they've said many times now, they're an AI company, they want to sell robots, that's more important than selling cars. And I have to agree with them. At the 2025 shareholder meeting, that narrative finally began feeling like it could be real. One of the things that Tesla says not a Tesla app is, well, absolutely unmatched at is its efficient mass production. This is true. Tesla makes a pretty nice profit on its cars, which is amazing considering the prices they cost. They've never been cheaper than what they are today. And now they'll be applying the same logic that made the Model 3 and Model Y so effective, high volume, low cost production driven by vertical integration and in-house efficiencies, all for Tesla's most important product, their most important product they've ever made. Much more important than the Tesla Model S, the Model 3, the Model Y. This is really what will make or break Tesla. I mean, when I say make or break, yeah, they'll probably still be around selling plenty of cars for the next you know, 20, 30 years, but it won't be the core business. You cannot value Tesla today. I mean, their price to earnings ratio is what, 270, something wild like that. If you were to say that that's based on the cars they're going to sell, well, they'll never do. They'll never have to justify that. They need to sell these robots. They need to get them into homes, into businesses, into Tesla's factories, building the machines that make the machine. This is Tesla's big moment for Optimus. Elon and the executive team set a price target of 20,000 US dollars for Optimus once mass production begins a price point designed to shatter the market and make the robot accessible at an unprecedented scale. I should say though, BYD claim they have a robot as well that they're gonna sell next year. They say it'll cost 10,000 US dollars. They're gonna undercut Tesla by 50%. Is that realistic though? Do BYD really have a compelling robot to sell next year for 10,000 US dollars? My guess is no. I think it's unlikely. BYD is not known as an AI company. If BYD had great software and great efficient digitalized software, which is what you need for a robot, why are their cars less efficient than everyone else? It doesn't add up, yeah? I mean, guys, if you actually compare their EVs to every other EV on the market, they are amongst the least efficient. And they're good EVs, but when it comes to efficiency, you would think if you've got the best software, you'd be able to make your cars more efficient. So I doubt that BYD is going to have a compelling robot on sale on the market for $10,000 US dollars next year. Will it come eventually? Probably. I mean, BYD, when they want to do something, they set their mind to it, they generally make it happen. The linchpin of Optimus's role in achieving sustainable abundance and the vision of eliminating poverty is part of what Tesla say is driving them. So the $20,000 price point is, well... It's a pretty important part of the equation because if it were more than that, most people wouldn't be able to afford one. Here's the thing though. The staggering production ramp that Tesla is planning is pretty wild, yeah? Musk has confirmed that Tesla is aiming for an extremely fast production ramp up. And this is what he considers the fastest production ramp of any complex product ever. So what's their plan? Here's their plan. Part one, Optimus Generation 3 reveal in early 2026. Generation 3 production begins in 2026. Near-term 1 million unit per year line at the Fremont factory in California. Interesting they've chosen California. 2027, 4 million units a year by the end of 2027, aspirationally. Long-term, a massive 10 million units per year line at Giga Texas in the distant future. Now, honestly... This would be an interesting plan, wouldn't it? Because this would give XPeng an enormous advantage over Tesla. Enormous advantage. It would be much cheaper for XPeng to produce robots in China than for Tesla to produce them in the United States. Wages in China are much lower. 
working hours are longer. And the other thing is the Chinese government will pretty much incentivize you pretty heavily, not just the government, but lo local governments as well. So for Tesla to manufacture these in the United States, they will have a significant disadvantage when it comes to cost of production. Yes, Tesla could do a lot of stuff to make their cost of production more efficient. But guys, if you've been to production lines, I've been and seen, I've seen Xpeng's car production line. It's pretty much robots. It's pretty similar to Tesla's production line, not that different. Anyway, this is not a niche project. And clearly Tesla is planning on producing way more Optimus units than it produces vehicles within the next five years. Thus, the reason for no new cars. What has Tesla done in terms of new models of cars in the last couple of years? Nothing. You've got the Cybertruck. You've got the Cybercab, which is more of a robo-taxi vehicle. Really haven't invested. They've got a lot of cash sitting on hand, and they're not putting it into cars because this is going to make them more money, no question. The human labor market is worth 30 times more than the automotive industry. This aggressive timeline is only possible because Tesla has already spent a decade solving 80% of the problem, says not a Tesla app. Tesla's robots with wheels, the cars, have served as the development platform for the robots with arms and legs, Optimus. To a certain degree, I think this is correct. Optimus leverages a massive shared bin of Tesla's existing proven and scaled technologies. For core hardware, that includes actuators, power electronics, the battery and audio systems. For the brain and eyes, Optimus uses the same cameras as your car alongside the exact same AI chip. It also takes advantage of some of Tesla's biggest core competencies in manufacturing, data communication, training, and neural sims. This all comes together to make Optimus's training advance extremely rapid, building upon the same types of neural nets that full self-driving uses to learn how to drive. Now, obviously learning how to drive is a little bit different to being a robot and doing all the things you do as a robot, which I honestly think a robot, all the things you can do is far more complex than a car. Yeah, you know, in a car, there's a lot of complex scenarios but human beings are capable of doing far more than what you can do in it, driving a vehicle. By solving all these items though, at automotive scale, Tesla's only new engineering problems are the bespoke robotic ones. Elon admitted on stage at the shareholder meeting that these are far from trivial, calling the forearms and hands extremely challenging to an engineer. In fact, he went as far as calling it one of Tesla's hardest projects ever. By leveraging everything they learned by building autonomous robots on wheels, which is their cars, Tesla has reduced a decade-long R&D challenge into a more focused, albeit still difficult, final stage engineering problem. Not a Tesla app said this, right? Interesting. While the hardware path is clear, Elon was candid during the Q&A session about the immense cost of intelligence. Now, my theory is this, right? You train a robot to do one job. Right, maybe you train a robot to, um, for example, be a bricklayer, build brick walls, yeah? Then the idea is after a human being trains them and shows them how to do it or a software program in combination with a human being, something like that, when that one robot figures it out, you could, in theory, download that information to the rest of the robots. So over time, the robots will simply get better and better and better. However, the hardware must be safe for humans to to be around these robots. But the AI is what makes it useful. To make Optimus truly capable of general purpose tasks though, Tesla will likely need to spend tens of billions on training compute, well beyond what they've already spent on autonomous driving. So they're gonna need a lot of cash, yeah? The staggering AI investment is a prerequisite for making Optimus useful for general household and industrial tasks. and the challenge is going to be immense. This cost also directly connects the Optimus program to the necessity of the new AI5 chip and the TerraFab concept. The robot's brain will be just as critical as the key components of its body. In fact, I think the robot's brain is far more important than the key components of its body. I think probably eventually any company can figure out how to make a, a good robot. But making it able to do stuff, that's an entirely different ballgame. Ultimately, the Optimus plan is the culmination of Tesla's entire strategy, the company's entire success, its stock price success, its actual financial success depends on pulling this off. 
It combines the mass market, low cost economics of the Model 3, the deep technological wizardry behind for self driving, and a vision so grand that it requires its own bespoke solutions to better humanity. But I'm curious to know do you guys think having these robots in many cases take our jobs or work for us or do things for us, is this a good thing? Will this better humanity or will it make it worse? I mean, I think in some ways it will be better and in some ways it will be worse. But either way, this is the future. Whether Tesla does it or someone else, it's absolutely happening. And if you think about it, right, the amount of effort that Tesla plans on putting into this robot and money is probably greater than any other company in the world. I can't think of any other company in the world that's really this dedicated with this kind of cash flow, the number of engineers, the data, or everything else that, you know, everyone, I can't think of anyone else who has all that. So I would say Tesla is probably the most likely company worldwide to make this happen. But I've got to say, when I was at the Xpeng AI Day uh, a couple of weeks ago in China, I was shocked by Xpeng's robot, just how lifelike it was. I said to the person sitting next to me, I said, that is a person. Look at that butt. The, the butt, it looks like a person. It's moving like a person. And other people thought the same thing. I was, super, I was intrigued to see that all, everyone on the internet was saying the same thing. That's, that's not a real robot. That's a person. But it was a robot. So how well are Xpeng along their timeline? No one really knows, but it's going to be a very interesting race. And I'm fascinated to find out who wins it. Let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching.